proposed to use BD address, which comes which come with Blues, which is there a source code, which you have just to compile it, and you can change your MAC address, your BD address, BD address, not BT address, BD address of your device, connect to the master with an unknown link key, and it will say, oh, what, there's that device with an unknown link key, well, I corrupt my pairing, I'll restart, and it will reinitiate the pairing process. So we now have a quick and reliable way to get the BD address, a way to crack the pin and the, and the keys. What's left, that's the sniffer. So as an assignment, go and make one for everybody. <laughs> that would really help out research, and there will be lots of lots of bugs uh, still to find. Things to remember, Bluetooth might be a risk for your company. Don't accept every file being sent. Well, that's pretty obvious. Disable Bluetooth if not required. Should be obvious too. Pair in secure places. That's a zip recommendation. It's your definition to tell what is a secure place in wireless. Don't use unique keys. Actually, you as a user can't choose. It's a vendor. Hold your Bluetooth vendor accountable for vulnerabilities. Delete your pairings because Pairings are pretty much a backdoor to your device. And if possible, use Bluetooth specification 2.0 and simple pairing, which has uh, elliptic key cryptography, which is very strong and should um, pretty much, uh, well, let's say it's, it's, I don't know if it's really that secure. We'll see. I'm not a cryptograph, actually. So let's see how this works out. That would be it. <laughs> Does anybody of you have questions or Okay. Uh, what I wanted to know is uh, have you done any research on uh, long range sniffing of the pairing process? Nope, nope. Since I mean that's that's a That's the key issue, yeah. Uh, actually, you could modify that device, but because it costs a buckload of money, I haven't touched it. Because if I ruin it, it's fucked. If we find a, if we find a way to uh, cheaply implement this, I'll play with it. But I, I won't touch. I won't try to touch that device, so I really can't tell. Maybe it's reliable. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess not. Um, you mentioned earlier that with the Bitcom software, it is pretty difficult to find out which version you actually have installed. Could you, at least in, in the paper somewhere, describe where to find that version? Because I know many people that have the Bitcom software, and, yeah. and I would love to tell them if yeah, they are uh, on the safe okay. side or not. I didn't see the need for it, but that's an interesting. I may, I may retouch the slides after putting them up on, okay. on the I side. I just quickly looked through my registry. I found something regarding version 3. Point something. Ah, Would yeah, that, that be... That's not good. <laughs> that's not good? <laughs> no. Okay. Then please tell us where to find it. Okay. okay. That's it? Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>